guys, this video contains blood and gore. Um, obviously no one has been hurt in the making of this, um, but if you are watching with younger um, viewers, then uh, discretion is advised. Why you beat you? Maybe it's because you were poking him with a stick. Just don't poke things with sticks. Oh, do you think it'll be all right? Oh, I don't know. We'll just tape it up. Put some tape on it. Get it sorted. There we go. That'll do. Bit of, bit of blood. Hang on. Let's just clean that up. There we go. All sort. All sort. You see, I knew that blue Peter badge I got a few years ago. In it would would solve it. Anyway. Welcome Cheer to Cheer yourself on. up. Welcome. Hiya. Cheer yourself up. Obviously, we're doing a series of games on um, on zombies. Uh, this is game which one? Uh, uh, four. 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 This is game number four. Um, now, obviously, as you're probably well aware right now, we're in the midst of a zombie apocalypse. I've got a little bit of blood on my hands. You see, that's from helping you. That's what a sort of friend we are here at Die Rolling. Anyway, so... Um, we're going to play the game uh, Run, Fight or Die Reloaded. Run, Fight or Die Reloaded. Reloaded. Um, which, um, well, do you want to, instead of moaning, why don't you explain what the game um, is about? It's a competitive game. You're trying to um, get to the town line. Uh, there's various different zombies um, coming towards you and you've got to roll dice. It's, it's kind of uh, a dice chucker game and you're trying to get combos and things like that. Uh, you can get allies, which can help you or hinder you. Um, yeah, it's, it's, we play it a few times at lunchtime, it's, it's a pretty good game. Um, so we'll just see what it's like and how it represents the zombie apocalypse. This is, uh, like we said, game four out of ten games we're doing, which will be, we'll decide which is the king of the zombies out of those, those ten games. And also out of... Sorry, I was going to throw up. I'll tell you what, on. while, uh, while Adam here, um, <coughs> finds his soul, uh, we're going to, uh, Run, fight or die! <laughs> Reloaded. Yep. Cool, so I'm starting first. Um, cool. So, on my round, I am going to sit the action phase, you roll your dice up to three times and resolve their effects. I'm happy with that, really. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to move this guy back one zone. I'm outrunning him. I'm then going to hit this guy with a baseball bat and then shoot these two zombies. They are gone. Um, I got two locations, so that basically means reveal the top card of the location deck, execute the bad effect, then the good effect. So I have found the dead and alley. So next turn, you may not re roll your dice. And then also the horde wanders by. Kill two zombies anywhere on your board. Target opponent adds two zombies to their zone three. So, Will. These two guys go to your zone three. Roll. Three. It's even yes. worse. Draw a leadership token. So these leadership tokens are basically victory points at the end of the game. So, Will. Uh, then it's the mutant phase, he's not out. Then it's the advanced zombies phase. Move all zombies forward one zone. Uh, then spawn three zombies in zone three. Oh, straight away. Three zombies. Mm. What happens when you do that? So you're basically going to have three zo three extra zombies appear on your board. Unless I re-roll them. You can't re-roll zombie dice. You could try for that middle one. Or the bottom or one. Or the bottom one. Because you've got a... Um, oh, you just need a... You've got two more re-rolls, so... That could be absolutely so if it's blue, I'm taking it. It's blue. Yeah. So, come on, oh, sorry. save it. Come on, um, what are we uh, Right, so we just played a game of Run, Fight, or Die. Reloaded. Reloaded. And, um, yeah, what a fun game that was. It's definitely a little uh, lunchtime game, uh, something to keep you entertained. A lot of dice rolling, a lot of action. That was really, that was really <gasps> sore. 
Um, and um, yeah, certainly, certainly your injury didn't slow you down uh, when it came to playing the game. So fourth victory in a row, baby! Woohoo! <laughs> no, um, so uh, one of the key aspects of this game is effectively it's um, a dice builder. So you are chuck them, whatever. Uh, you're um, trying to um, roll your dice to um, match patterns on the um, with the dice to uh, remove zombies from your uh, board. Yep, and every round the zombies are ever encroaching and moving forward onto your board. As soon as one player is taken out, uh, ends the game, uh, or if you manage to defeat the uh, mutant zombie by getting rid of all the supply tokens, he's dead and that's the end of the game. Or you can find the town uh, line, which is if you escape the town and manage to get out. Um, yeah, it plays in 30 to 45 minutes. Yeah. Um, it's 14 plus. I don't think there's anything in this which is especially more adult than the, the past two games we've played. Um, I think the the artwork for this doesn't especially, it's not very gory, it's still kind of quite cartoony, isn't it? Yeah, in a way this is actually quite um, much more sort of kid friendly, it's, it's, it's a bit silly in this artwork. Um, yeah. well, let's talk about components because we like to talk about components. So what do you think to the components in this Well, team? straight off the bat, they've done the one thing the, the refuge didn't do and they have coloured zombies. So they, you know, again, they're plastic, you're not going to, you know, you're not going to paint, paint them. So, and they were um, silly colours, so that really made it. Components were really nice, the dice were really nice, the tokens were really nice, the artwork's really nice, the cards are really nice, the components are really nice. And yeah, there's really nothing good components. Key, nothing that you can say about it. Yeah, really good. Um, How about the the theme of zombie apocalypse? How does, do you, do you feel it enca encapsulates that? It was like growing dread? I think so, because you sort of think, oh, I'll get rid of them all, and then suddenly, uh, it just comes back, it, mm. just like, whoosh, and you get a you get a whole bunch more. That takes me in. Please don't, please don't touch it. I'm just um, yeah, I, I think the same. It was it was one of those. Um, please don't do anything. It's one of those games where you can. There is a bit of a gotcha element to it. You can actually send zombies to other people's boards. We didn't really do much this time, but when well, by when I have played this previously, there was a lot of kind of like sending zombies to other people's boards and stuff. A lot more player interaction than there was when we played it. Um, but yeah, overall. Thoughts on this? Yeah, it's it's a good game, uh, and again, I think it comes down to your genre of board games. This is enjoy. like another game in the. So this is our fourth game. Yeah. And this is like the another t type of game that you're not that like much of a fan of. Like you like dice chuckers, like Escape and King of Tokyo, but it's not something you'd especially go out of the way to. Yeah. King of Tokyo still. King of Tokyo is a game. It's one of those games that I'll play if I fancy it, and then I like Escape. Um, the escape games where you throw the dice, they're good, um, but again, they're not... Uh, escape Curse of the Temple, yeah, right? yeah. Escape Zombie City, yeah. Um, both of those, I've got both of those on my shelf, and they're, they're good games, but the, the problem with dice games, and this is inherently the problem with dice games, is they're based on luck, and you can have all the strategy in the world, and you can want to do all the things you want to do, but you are absolutely, you could roll all the zombies, and that would be... Whatever you're planning to do, that would be the end. And there's yeah. no, you know, you could get lucky, you can then get unlucky. And as much as, as much as you think, oh well, you're rolling six dice, you could easily roll six zombies one turn, six zombies the next turn, and six zombies the next turn. Mm. Um, and you'd hope that that wouldn't happen, but there's a very good chance. So for me, zombie, zombie theming, brilliant. In terms of game genre, not for me. But as a game publisher, they've done. They have done fantastic games, and this this is up to their high standard. But it's not the game. It isn't a game for me. Mm -hmm. But I think if I could, if I saw it cheap on Amazon, I'd probably pick it up. But I wouldn't necessarily get out of my way to buy it. Not because okay. it's a bad game, but it's just because it's not my it's sort. It's not in your genre. Yeah. Uh, I personally, uh, I really enjoy playing this at lunch times with with friends and stuff. It's um. Yeah, it's, it's quite a, quite a fun kind of dice chucker. Um, I pref I think you know there is a lot of stra like luck involved. There's not much strategy. There are ways you can mitigate that luck some way with the, the little boards you have, which you can change things around. But generally, it is it is you know it's just fun and fast kind of game to to play with some friends. Um, so uh, if you're keeping track of where we are at the moment, this is our fourth video, and the we're talking about victories here. So we're going to see out of Jamie, Will, and myself, if whoever's standing at the end of this. Um, who has won the most games so far? Uh, so Will is currently at zero. Jamie is currently at one. 
and I am currently at four. Um, so maybe that'll change the next game if I can uh, stomach <laughs> it. Um, so uh, social media may be down. We're not quite sure, um, but we're going to. You can find us on um, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Occasionally. Now, if you are on YouTube. Please make sure that you take two minutes out of your life to click that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this content, we do do other non-zombie themed content. Um, and uh, make sure you give us a like. And if you want to chat to me because it looks like Adam's going to die any minute, um, I will respond. Stay safe.